a few instances of um, using uh, Firebug within Firefox extension. Now, if Firebug is installed, it's it's a plugin, it's an extension. You can uh, install it um, by going to getfirebug.com. Don't go to firebug.com because I think it used to be a site about a real firebug because there's actually a bug <laughs> that's called firebug. It's called getfirebug.com. And then after installing it, the easiest way to access it or to um, implement its usage is by right clicking on the element that you want to see. So for example, maybe this image right here. I want to see what's the name of this image? How is this image created? So if I right click on that image and I can choose inspect element with firebug. With that menu there, I know that firebug is installed in my Firefox browser. So if I click on that, what happens is it brings up a menu of HTML on the left side and CSS on the right side. So currently it highlights the piece that I um, right clicked on and told me that, okay that's the IMG tag and if I mouse over certain areas of it like the source if I mouse over there it gives me a little thumbnail of what that image looks like with its dimensions and if I look on the right side I can see that this is the CSS that's been written for that piece so this is a really good way to troubleshoot um, your uh, stuff when it's live already or when it's really working. It's a little easier than it is to troubleshoot things in Dreamweaver. So by having this, um, for example, let's say on that image there, I want to move it up or down. So I can go and say, well, what kind of styling is created on this? Well, it has a class named dot right. Because if I look inside the image right here, see where it says IMG class equals right? That's the style right over here, which is dot right. It has a float right to it, so if I turn that float right off, you see what happens? I can turn styles on and off just to see what would happen if I got rid of that style. I can also change, well, you know, here's the margin left. If I took that off, what happens? That text gets a little bit closer to that image. Or the margin bottom, that didn't really have too much effect on it. But let's say I wanted that text further away from the image. I can also go in there and go to that 10 pixels and use my up arrow keys and start increasing that number, that margin left number. And you see how it continually starts to push the text away from the image? Now it's pushing it below it because it doesn't have any room to go. So, um, But you have to remember that the changes that you make here in this system are virtual changes, meaning that they do not stick you have to go back to the HTML page, make those changes, and then save it. So that's kind of a quick overview look of the Firebug extension in Firefox.